Hello! Welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade. And today, with snacky snack time, we've been shopping again to our local Aldi store. And we was having a browse round like you do, seeing what's new, seeing what's different. And I came across, oh so delish, wasabi peas. Dried green peas with a hot and spicy wasabi coating. Mm, I love wasabi, absolutely love it. Suitable for vegans, high in fibre, made by the foodie market. You can't beat wasabi, it's got that lovely flavour and the lovely spice. Even if you're not a chilli head, then wasabi is nice, it's a spicy nice. Dried peas with a hot and spicy wasabi coating. Ingredients. Peas, cornstarch, sugar, palm oil, modified maize starch, dextrin, salt, wasabi seasoning, thickener, aqua gum, dextrin, horseradish, modified starch, wasabi, colour, copper, complexes of cop, Jesus, of three different chemicals. Um, this is always annoyed me, this does. Allergy advice. May contain peanuts and sesame. It's a it's there. Peas. Alright, it's not a nut, but contains peanuts. So don't buy them. If you've got allergies, don't buy them. Not that I'm having a good thing for These are specially produced for Aldi stores. Once again, if you like your wasabi and your dried snacks, Aldi's the place to go sometimes because these are specially made for them by the foodie market. You won't find them anywhere else. So. Hunt down your local Aldi and get yourself some oh so delish, delish wasabi peas. So we're gonna crack them. Boom. And have a dabble. Mm. Nice big smell. Looking green. That pea should be. Green and coated. Oh, I'm throwing them about here. Sorry about that. I'll throw some at you. Yeah, give it, have a try. I swear. Mmm. Wasabi, oh so delish wasabi peas. Oh, yeah. Could probably do with the drink right about now. Because these aren't going to be dry. Mm. A nice ice cold beer would go really well with these. Saturday night, watching a film, watching your favourite crap on TV, chilling, with Harvey Peas, glass of beer. The wasabi flavour is 10 out of 10. It's absolutely spot on. And when you're breathing, when you're eating wasabi, you get a little nose tingle. Does it one hundred percent? I could quite easily sit here and eat the whole bag. I definitely need a drink very soon. Heat rating. You can't. Well, you can give it a heat rating. Heat rating. I give it a one. No, zero point five actually. Because wasabi heat is not like. Proper heat. I know it sounds strange. That isn't good. I'm not gonna lie. Banging. Absolutely banging. So if you like your dried snacks like your peanuts, 
scratchings and you have a and you like a bit of wasabi heat. So the dish, absolutely perfect snack. Gotta get a nine. The wasabi heat, wasabi flavour is 100 percent bang on to what it should be. <coughs> so congratulations the foodie market and Aldi for coming together and making another awesome snack product you can sit you can take this to work and just munch on them as you can give in you could quite easily like i said nice ice cold beer sit in front of a film two hours bag's gone beer's gone food film's finished awesome that sounds good to me that could be a plan in the very near future for these so flavor rating definitely getting a nine because the wasabi flavor is spot on absolutely spot on to what this should taste like and the heat rating look it's a tingle and then disappears so 0.5 <coughs> nobody would struggle to eat these nobody at all so that was my review of also oh delish wasabi peas go and grab yourself a bag trust me if you like that little wasabi flavor you like the heat you won't be disappointed in them 100 percent so smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget the notification bell, which is the most important. Hit that bell, hit all, and you will get every notification from Rob's Homemade. If you don't, then it'll be random notifications every now and again, or none at all, like some people get, like people saying, oh, I'm not getting any notifications. As I said, have you hit the bell? Yeah, and it, it all works then. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Gonna be amazing. It's been a... A shitty year so far, but Christmas calendar's not far away, and I'm so looking forward to that. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers, all 3,300 as we speak. Amazing, amazing thing. I couldn't do it all. Couldn't do any of this without you guys, so thank you very much. Peace! <laughs>